What's up guys, Game Nut here, and welcome back to some more Madden 17 Ultimate Team. And that new quarterback that you guys have been requesting for quite a while now is finally going to be revealed in this episode. Our new quarterback, for the time being, is going to make his debut today for you guys. Now before we get into that, let's talk about this NFL predictor program that we got put into the game a couple of weeks ago. So basically when the playoffs started, you know, in real life with football, We've got these new sets in the game where we get to predict what's actually going to happen in the playoffs. So we not only get to pick which team's going to win, but also some scenarios that could happen in the actual game. So for the Raiders and Texans, we had Amari Cooper getting 100 receiving yards, Lamar Miller getting 100 rushing yards, Khalil Mack getting a sack, all of this different stuff. And if you guessed all of them right, you would get some coin bonuses. So for the first week of the playoffs, you know, wild card weekend, I thought I would show you guys my results and, you know, I thought you would all be interested in seeing how I did. In total, I think I only ended up having about four guesses wrong, which I was really close to being 100% correct. And if I think you were perfect in that week, you got like an extra 50,000 coins. So I was really close to being perfect and getting that. So hopefully we could do that in the next week of the NFL predictor part. Now, I finally completed the gauntlet for the month of December, giving us Rob Ninkovich, a new left outside linebacker that's going to be joining our team. But we're also making another addition besides quarterback, and that is going to be the left tackle. So here you're seeing who our new left tackle is going to be. It is Tyron Smith, who is an 89 overall. You'll see the reason why I decided to add this specific left tackle to our team. We've got an 89 run block, 90 pass block, 86 impact block for Tyron Smith. Currently on the auction house, he was going for about 40,000 coins. I was able to snag mine for about 31 and a half thousand, so got a little bit of a steal somewhat. I mean, I'm sure people can find him for cheaper, but the reason I wanted Tyron Smith is specifically because of that Dallas chemistry. You see, we have two other Dallas offensive linemen, which increases all of their overalls because we have that chemistry active right now. So, you know, that's that's kind of the reason why I had to go with that Tyron Smith. Now, moving forward to the divisional round of the playoffs, we've got a new set of NFL predictor sets added into the game. So we're going to have another go at this, see how well I can do. I believe this week... If you had all of them correct, you got like a 100,000 coin bonus. So let's see my results for the second week of the playoffs. So again, for the divisional round of the playoffs, I was super close to being perfect for a second week in a row. I think I only had like four wrong again. That's two weeks in a row now. Almost perfect again. I think if you had them all right in that week, you actually had like a 100,000 coin bonus. But maybe next week if they do it again for the championship games. But our new quarterback that is going to be joining our team is 90 overall Carson Wentz from the Chemistry Solo Challenges. In that episode that I asked you guys which quarterback to bring into my team, I had so many comments from you guys saying to bring in this version of Carson Wentz and obviously this isn't a huge upgrade from what we've been working with but like it's what you guys want to see it's what the people wanted so if you guys wanted to see Carson Wentz on my team I had to deliver and let you all see how he performs on my team and bring him in for the time being so I don't know like I said how long he's going to be on my team but for now you guys wanted to see Carson Wentz so he's going to be joining our team. Now, looking at the defense, I really haven't given these guys too much love lately. Like, I haven't made very many defensive upgrades in a really long time. But don't worry, those upgrades are coming in the next couple of episodes. But with our current season now, with Carson Wentz at quarterback, we have a 6-2 and two record. And if we can just get one more win, we're going to be entered into the playoffs, trying to get our way towards our first Super Bowl this year in Madden 17. We are set, ready to rock for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. And these guys on your screen, ready to rock as well. Some of the stars of today's game. And speaking of the game, let's get right to it. All right, so here is our potential game, which we can win. And it will enter us into the playoffs for the first time this year in Madden 17. Now, if we do lose this game, it's okay. We don't have to worry too much because we still can afford one more loss until we're completely eliminated from this season and have to start all over again trying to make the playoffs. But let's just focus on this one opponent that we've got right now, try and play some defense and get this win. But he's starting the day out on offense, and if you guys haven't noticed already, this guy has some big-time weapons on offense. He's got the new football outsider Jordan Howard at running back. He's got Aaron Rodgers, or who you know I like to call the way that he's playing today, A-God at quarterback. The dude's ridiculous right now. And he's also got Randy Moss at wide receiver. So we've definitely got a tough matchup going against us right now. But 
after forcing a sack, we get the fumble. Obviously, he did recover it since he's still on offense. Third and 15, he goes back to Jordan Howard, only picks up about five yards. He doesn't convert and pick up a first down. So you would think he would go for his field goal here because he's definitely in range. But on fourth and 10, for some reason, he's going for it. He just lofts it up to the end zone. That was kind of a bad pass. Don't really know which receiver that was intended for, but three of my defenders were there to swat that away, and obviously it's a turnover on downs. Now, for Carson Wentz to start out on offense, uh, things didn't go so well. On first down, my opponent brought out an all-out blitz. It turns out to be a sack for Carson Wentz. And on third and 20, I'm not really sure what happened on that play. Like, I don't know if that was a bad ball by Carson Wentz. I don't know if that was just like a, you know, a missed catch by Antonio Freeman is who I believe that was at receiver. It might have been Sterling Sharp, but like uh, that play was kind of weird. I'm not really sure what was happening. Now, as we came back out on defense, we did the same thing. We finally got ourselves a sack on my opponent. That's Rob Ninkovich, our new addition that we added to the team who's coming out with the sack along with Julius Peppers, which forces a fourth and 22. And again... For some reason, this dude's going for it. Obviously, this is clearly not field goal range for him. I don't know why he's going for it. And he almost completes the pass to Deshaun Jackson. I thought he was going to catch it. If it was a better receiver, honestly, that probably would have been caught. But thankfully, I think that was Eric Weddle and Cam Chancellor coming up with the hits, making that an incomplete pass. Now, as we come back out on offense, we got to start dotting up this defense with Carson Wentz. The first play is a 20-yard reception to Tim Brown. Now we're finally starting to move the change. Next play on a third and two, we give it to our tight end, Jacob Tammy. He's breaking out of a couple tackles. He moves the chains. We get another first down. And on the very next play, we try to go with a fake snap to see if we can draw him off sides. He comes with a blitz, and we find Antonio Freeman in the end zone. He beats his defender, putting us up now 7 to nothing. And with just one touchdown, this guy already had enough of our team. I don't really understand why he had to quit, but, like, that was way too short of a gameplay. Now, normally I would save the playoffs for a different episode, but because that was so short, I've got to give you guys another gameplay, and we're going to be entering into the playoffs our first time this year, going into the divisional round. Let's see what Carson Wentz can do in the playoffs. Brandon Gaughton, Charles Davis ready for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a peek at some of the big players in today's game, and you're a big player in today's game as well. Let's get the party started. So we're going against another really good offense, as you can see. Randall Cobb, Tim Brown, Adrian Peterson. Our defense has a cutout for him yet again now. To start things out on offense, uh, as you can see, tried going with somewhat of a deep pass to start things off. It ended up getting tipped to out of position Keenan Allen, is who this guy has at free safety. Uh, that, of course, has to be the way that we start out on offense. Gotcha, bitch! But as we come back out on defense, man, this dude ran a screenplay, and obviously he's going to learn pretty quick that you cannot run screenplays on me. I get the user pick with Janoris Jenkins. Just when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way. He'll be brought down. Wentz now throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once. So as you saw after that user pick with Janoris Jenkins, we tried coming back out on offense. And I don't know what defense this man was running, but it was just sack after sack on Carson Wentz. I, it was... It was a mess, man. Now, as you can see, we're at the start of the second quarter. The score is now 3 to nothing. My opponent literally took the rest of the first quarter to drive all the way down the field and just get a field goal. But we're picking things back up now, which is our very next offensive possession. He took that much time off the clock. I noticed that he wasn't changing his defense, and he was going nothing but cover three. So if he's not going to change his defense, like, I'm just going to call plays that I know how to beat cover three. I'm going to do me and keep calling the same exact plays and beat this cover three defense, which is exactly what we're doing. We go to Steve Smith. We go to Tim Brown. Now we go to Sterling Sharp on the next reception. And in just a couple of plays, working our way downfield with Carson Wentz, we give it to Jacob Tammy, who goes for a possession catch. Do you guys have this problem in Madden? Like, they go for a possession catch automatically. Like, I don't call for a possession catch, and they keep doing it. It's kind of annoying, and sometimes, you know, in certain situations... Gotcha, it, it doesn't really work out when you go for possession catch, and they do it automatically anyways. But we put up a touchdown. We now have a lead 7-3. to three. And right back out on defense, we have Ross Cockrell coming up with an interception, putting us on the 20-yard line already. Now defense is starting to step things up. 
First and 10, we give it to Antonio Freeman. He tries to put on a juke, get into the end zone. We get down to the two-yard line. A few plays later on third and goal, James White runs a route into the end zone. Again, automatically going with that possession catch, but it doesn't matter. We get another touchdown with Carson Wentz, which now puts us up 14-3. to And the Eagles add on to their lead. And oh, it's blocked. This is going. So if you take notice at the clock, you're seeing there's about one minute left in the second quarter. It's a third and ten, and Rob Ninkovich comes up again with a sack, which forces a fourth down for my opponent. So I had some timeouts. I was able to go ahead and call one, get the ball back on offense. And with 14 seconds left, again, this dude wasn't changing his defense, man. So, like, I'm just going to call plays on how I know to beat cover three. We, on a second and 10, we give it to Jacob Tammy. He breaks out of one tackle that picks up about 10 yards, moves us a little bit closer to field goal range, and we were able to get a field goal just before halftime in this game. Very quickly able to get three points. Now, at the start of the third quarter, things started to go bad for my opponent. Gotcha, bitch. As you're seeing, I started to figure out this dude's offensive play calling as well. Not only with his defense, but I started to figure out the ways he was calling plays on offense. We get the user pick with Alec Ogletree. Back out on offense, our, our new quarterback, Carson Wentz, ends up coughing up the football. All right, so look, I already established that I'm not going to be keeping you on my team very long as it is, but... In your debut, if you're going to start fumbling the football, your time's going to be a lot shorter gotcha, bitch. than what you think it's going to be. But as I said, I figured out the play calling on offense for this dude. Back-to-back -back user picks with Alec Ogletree. This time, we don't even need the offense on the field. We take it all the way. 4-6, giving us another touchdown, extending our lead. 22-3. And at this point, as I said before, things just continued to go downhill for this guy. He tried going for it on fourth down. Jay Howard comes up with the sack and the fumble. Julius Peppers is there to recover it. And uh, from there on, pretty much it was just nothing but when we had the ball in offense to just chew the clock to make this thing go a little bit quicker than it needed to be. You can see he did get the ball back. Did put up one more touchdown. But after, you know, we had the ball in offense, it was just, like I said, run the football, chew out the clock. And uh, to put icing on top of the cake, we had to get one final passing touchdown with Carson Wentz, which now marks his third in this episode. And even though this play doesn't really count, check out this user pick. Gotcha, bitch. The connection to your peer has finally, there should be a word finally in that sentence. The connection has finally been lost. It's about time this guy quit. It only took five interceptions to make this guy leave and the last 40 seconds of the game. He should have left a little bit earlier to save me some time, man. But there it is, entering into the playoffs for the first time. I guess that's technically the divisional round, and we come out with a win, so we have a 1-0 record as we go into the postseason. One more win, and I believe that will, you know, mark us towards our Super Bowl is, you know, what that would be considered here in Ultimate Team. But thank you guys all so much for watching. I'm loving the upgrades we're making with the team. In the next episode, don't worry, I'm going to start giving some love to the defense because, as I said before, I really haven't given them too many upgrades in, like, a pretty long time. So defense is going to see some big-time upgrades very soon as well as some more offensive players. But, again, thank you guys all so much for watching. I will catch you all in the next one. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.